Something magic happens Every time you go You make the magic happen The magic of Orioles baseball Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Autograph 2000 here. And in today's video, we have got some more autographs through the mail, TTM. We got four. We're gonna open up pack number four of our 2024 Mega Box packs. And I've also got a random act of kindness to show you. A care package that I was sent from a big time supporter of the channel. And we'll get to that later. Um, but first, we will start off with a TTM. The first one comes to us from Santa Clarita, California. And we have got Mr. Bryn Smith. He signed three of three in 14 days. He had a career record of 108 and 94 with a 3.53 ERA. He played 13 years. He appeared in 365 games. He played from 81 to 93. He played with Montreal, St. Louis, and Colorado. I think that card has seen better days. Looking a little rough around the edges. <clears throat> he, um, his best year is in 1985. When he went 18 and 5 with a 2.91 ERA. He also had four complete games and he also threw 222 innings that year. And I thought for sure that I would see that he finished, I don't know, fifth, sixth, something in the Cy Young voting that year. I don't think he got any. I don't think he finished in the top 10 or anything. That was a very impressive year, 18 and 5, 291 ERA. Mr. Bryn Smith. All right. Our next return is from Carroll Stream, Illinois. We have got a football return. We have got Matt Suey. He signed two of two in eight days. During his career, he had 2,946 rushing yards. 20 touchdowns, 2,113 receiving yards, and another five touchdowns. He played 10 years. Play, he played in 148 games. He played from 80 to 89. He played his entire career with the Chicago Bears. Um, his best year was in 1983 when he had 681 yards and four touchdowns. And he was also a member of the Super Bowl winning Chicago Bears team back in 1985. And Mr. Matt Suey scored a rushing touchdown in that game. So he had a rushing touchdown. The Fridge had a rushing touchdown. But Walter Payton did not. Matt Suey. All right. Next up, we're going to open up this Series 2 pack. Like I said, it is our fourth pack. So let's see what we got in here. We got Luis Urias. We have Wade Meckler. Pablo Reyes. The Squirrel, Jeff McNeil. We got Jose Alvarado. Superstar Greeting. The Bailey Bath. Chris Bassett. Jackson Wolf, Colin Selby, which I believe the Orioles just traded for him. I think he's with their AAA team. Anthony Rendon. Ooh, pick a game for a shot to win. Home run challenge. Chaz Jism. Jism. All right. I have entered all my. Um... Ooh, look at that sweet Bryce Harper. That is a pretty sweet looking card right there. I bet you Mike, old Mike Schmidt likes that likes that card. 
Junior Camonero. Oh yeah, but I like that. Sweet. Bryce Harper. Hmm. I bet you Mike at the hot corner likes that card. <laughs> All right. Our next return is from Columbus, Ohio. And we have got Ryan Jaren 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 Kick. He signed three of two in eleven days as he threw in one of his extras. Um, he played four years in the minors. He never got a blow, not a, he never got above high A. He played in 154 games. He hit one home run. He knocked in 47 runs. He batted 237. He was the New York Mets uh, first round pick in the 1995 draft. He was drafted 18th overall. And one day in May of 97, the Mets general assistant general manager came down to watch him play. And he said that after the game, he wanted to meet with him. And after the game, he met with Joe McElvain and he told him he was ready to quit. He said, after this meeting, I'm gonna take my glove, I'm gonna throw it in the trash, I'm done. I don't wanna play baseball anymore. Um, I find it boring. And I just had enough of baseball. Um, it makes me think of my overbearing father and I just don't want to play baseball anymore. So after the meeting, he threw his glove in the trash, threw his bats in the trash, and he was done with baseball. Done. Um, he did, he did um, attempt to come back two years later, and that was when he came back and he played with the Dodgers system for a couple years, and that was it. He never, never panned out. Hart wasn't into it, and so, I mean, if you want to look up, if you want to read the story, look him up. It's pretty interesting. I didn't know about, I didn't know all about that until I read when I was looking him up, but pretty interesting. All right, before we get to our last return, I'm going to show you this care package that I got from Mr. Goody G. And he says, Autographs 2000. Here are a few O's cards I'm sure you will enjoy. Also a little O's heavy TTM fuel that I'm sure you will send out if you haven't sent them already. Enjoy. Goody. And what's funny about this is he won the last contest. Uh, contest. I sent him some cards, or I sent him a card. And then when we did the Wheel of Names a couple of videos game ago, he won that, so he won three more. So, and those goody are already in the mail. So, all right, let's see what we got here. We got Pedro Alvarez, TJ McFarland, Brian Mattis, Flaherty, Ardoin, Dylan Mundy, Austin Hayes, Ryan Mountcastle, Devereaux, Dave Schmidt. Luis Ramirez, Rafi, Worthington, Bob Melvin, Adam Jones, Gunnar Henderson, Tony Batista, Anthony Santander, we've got Andy Vance Lake, we've got Damon Buford, Trey Mancini, Orsalak, Adam Frazier, that is uh, McKenna and Hayes. So they're pretty definitely stacked with some O's. And we've got another stack here. This is the TTM fuel. Let's see, we got Chris Hoyles, Mark Williamson, Ken Singleton, Malaki, Kennedy, Harnish, Harnish. Jeff Robinson, Terry Kennedy, Ballard, Segui, Adam Peterson, Ossenmacher, Tuffle, Carpenter, Ted Power, 
Alejandro Pena, Frank DePino, Rick Cerrone, Bob Patterson, Don August, Thad Bosley, Joe Cali, Greg Brock, Mark Lewis, Sapkild, Tanana, Terrell, Dennis Martinez, El Presidente. All right, so yes, we definitely got some prime TTM fuel there. Thank you again, Goody G. Greatly appreciate it. All right, our last return is from Atlanta, Georgia. And it is another football return. We have got Scott Case. He signed two of two in 12 days. He was a defensive back in the NFL. He played 12 years. He played in 178 games. He played from 84 to 95. He played with Atlanta and Dallas. Um, he was a pro bowler in 1988. In 1988, he was also the interceptions leader in the NFL with 10. Um, during his career, he had 30 interceptions, seven and a half sacks and a touchdown. And he won a Super Bowl in his one and only year with the Cowboys back in 95. He won. He got his Super Bowl ring for Super Bowl 30. Scott Case. All right. And that, guys, is going to do it for this video. Um, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that like button. If you've not subscribed yet, please do so. And until next time, guys, Autographs 2000 is out.